She's a runner, she's a top star. She's gonna run away when it gets hard. Not me, baby, I don't run away when it gets hard. In fact, I told hubby to die. I said, right or wrong, boo, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. So I wanna be God's rock star here, telling you guys that that's the hard things that God is calling us to do. You know, this love and the loyalty, he wants us to tie it around our neck, guys. So I have a couple that I've learned that from. So I was talking to the wife today and I was just telling her, thank you for being this great influence on my life. That I will stick with this loyalty, whether there's love there or the love can go and come. But the loyalty guys, that's where I want us guys. Loyal and faithful and dependent and devoted and committed people on behalf of God. Like I just wanna be this billboard for God, for this God who shows up for me and just shows me such love, such attention. Like right after that conversation with my sweetie pie, right before we ended our conversation, I always tell her, I say, we're together, we're together, boo. And can you believe, like I just said, let me stop and have an appointment with God right after speaking to her. And so I had ran at that point, point nine one of a mile. So I went to page 91 of our family website and after telling her that we're together, this showed up. Can you guys see it? It says, you've got this. Never doubt your ability to persevere through hard times. We're in this together. And that was just like my little wing from God, guys. What he's calling me. That what I'm telling her that we're together, like God joined in on our conversation. Yes, Nick, we're, me too, I'm in here with you guys, we're in this together, you know, and it was just, it was just God's little sweet, you see the wink wink at the end, so that's one of my God winks, where he shows up and says, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, every moment, every second, I'm with you, it lined up a little bit too perfectly for me on the phone saying, boo, sweetie, I'm with you, and this message showed up within minutes, say yes, we're, in this together and that's my message guys that we're gonna go through hard times but i want us to know that god is with us your girl did something crazy today i sent him a link to my messenger from god carrie it's like come on wake up. you gotta do the breakfast in the bible group thing where i go to stalk him guys and honestly god showed up into the digital meeting with him because I didn't intend to speak, I just wanted to listen to him, you know, but because the message with my sons today, listening to his message was about, he said, if you have the opportunity to speak, you should speak because you don't know the impact you're gonna have. So I said, okay, let me speak, you know? And so the person who spoke right before me talked about her verses was from Psalm 37, like, I can't remember, like four through six or whatever. But I promise you guys, what freaked me out about it is this morning, I'm having an appointment with God with my husband. So I tell you guys how I debate, 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 debate. Because I only have a little short little time with hubby. He's, he doesn't be interested in my stuff. So I only have a little short little window of opportunities that I want to make it count. Like, God, where do you want me to go for this appointment with hubby today? And I promise you, promise you, promise you that this showed up. It says, don't divide up your life. Trust in the Lord and do good. So that was the glitch, like on my phone. It just zoom, went to that date. I said, okay, God, that's what you want me to read for the appointment with God today. And can you believe the person right before me, speaking in this clubhouse group, where I go to Star Carry, said exactly the same verse. And it just, just, again, the alignment was too perfect to say, oh, that's just a coincidence, Nikki. No, because I know I saw my phone glitch. I saw it going to this date. I didn't even have a choice. Like God picked the date. And it was just him making his presence, making me aware of his presence with me, guys. The same thing with my friend today, that we're in this together. It's just his little sweet little ways that he will show up with these little glimmers of his invisible presence. And there's no way of all the things of verses for her to read right before I spoke was the same exact verse that I had with hubby today. It's just God, guys. And I want you guys feeling his presence. So when he asks us to do hard stuff for him, we say, no problem, God. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay? And yesterday I started a video with a little Kim 
song from the Gemma Center. I'm the one who put the range in the rover. Can you believe me and hubby had the nicest time yesterday evening driving around together in a Range Rover? And honestly, the love and attention that he put into his family, guys, I just say God. God, 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 God. Thank you. Thank you for this gift. And nobody gets it right all the time, guys. But Carrie's just been my influencer, just teaching me that we got to love others and we're going to love them unconditionally. And we're in the message from him today is like, look, you don't pay evil for evil. You know, you repay evil with good. And that's where I am, guys. So Carrie talked about being intentional. So I'm going to be intentional in being more loving to this husband who goes the extra mile for his family. And even my sons today, my Emmanuels, I send them a message. They're my accountability coaches that are making me so happy. So I say, boys, what can I do to make you guys happy? And I sent out to the store for some things that I know that they enjoy so much. You know, and honestly, guys, this is the best life with God. Yes, he does ask us to do some difficult things. He asks us to endure some tough situations. But we're gonna do it holding his hand and we're gonna persevere and we're gonna endure and we're gonna endure enjoy enduring enduring <laughs> you guys got that we're gonna enjoy enduring because we know that god is the one helping us like he's carrying the heavier parts another thing i got from carrie i have to tell you guys about is about i always say that we're going to do the best of our abilities and then we're going to leave the rest with God. So yesterday I was having this little talk with my cook, Victoria. I said, you know, we can't just pray. And you say, no, you got to put work into it too. You just don't leave everything for God. And I say, yes, Victoria, we're going to do the best of our abilities and we're going to leave the rest with God. And I just got a little wink from God listening to Carrie and Carrie recorded this this message, this message from so long before I even met him. So for him to use that very term to the best of your ability and then leave the rest with God, which is God saying, yes, Nick, this is what I require of you. You'll be the best and just leave the rest of me. Whatever you can do on your part, you be that. And just let me handle the difficult parts that are going on. So this is where I want you guys, trusting God and doing good. Knowing that he's with us, he's for us, he's by our side. It's just for us to keep showing up, showing up as our most loving selves, merciful selves, trusting in God's selves, just knowing that he's got our back, God. And then any difficult situation, no problem. God got us. Okay, guys? So when the troubles and stresses want to overwhelm us, just remind yourself, I'm trusting in God. Even if we have to say it a million times a day, God, I trust you. God, I trust you. God, I trust you. Let's just do that and just keep doing everything, everything for the glory of God.